What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous, wonderful, blessed day. I just want to start this video off by saying thank you so, so, so much for any of you who supported Soft Swim on my launch. If you shop for a bikini or a cover-up, it means so much to me and we do still have stock left. We have cover-ups right behind me, as you can see here, and I would love to get a bikini out to you. So definitely go ahead and shop soft, soft Swim if you haven't already. And to those of you that did, thank you so much. And if you didn't message me or give me any feedback or anything, please feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I would love to hear what you think. I have gotten to talk to a lot of you, and I'm so happy to hear that you're impressed with the suits and you like them. It's honestly the best feeling in the world to just like have it out there and know that I can build it from here and kind of share like all the exciting stuff with you guys that I've had to keep hidden for a year. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you back a couple of weeks to my office setup. So we are starting our office makeover technically today. Um, and I'm going to show you how I got from point A to point B to what is now this office and the room where I pack all of your soft swim orders. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our desk space. So I'm going to go ahead and take you into the other room a few weeks ago and we're going to get going on the ultimate office makeover. Okay, now the thing is, for you to understand the significance of this office makeover, you first have to understand where we began. So this is the room that is connected to my office that I was just filming in, and this is what it's looking like. Uh, it is our second guest room. It's kind of just like a smorgasbord of things that don't have a home, from mannequins to my extra shoes that I ended up purging, got rid of after this video. Um, to of course the guest bed the room just isn't done it doesn't make sense and we really want space in this room a for guests if we need our second guest bedroom to be used and b to be functional for shipping soft swim orders since i'm going to be shipping them myself of course so we're just going to go ahead and take apart this bed we actually ended up um, keeping this mattress and you will find out for what in the next video but we have a much better solution for having this room be both a packing room and a guest room so i'm taking you along on that journey with me but here of course i am just literally taking apart this bed i honestly am very impressed at myself that i was able to do all of this on my own and with no issues so we're finishing that up and then doing some cleaning of the walls and then unfortunately you were going to take a look into these closets and they're not a nice sight they are just stocked and stocked and stocked mostly with alfleet stuff um I, just years and years of stock so i did a huge closet purge i'm gonna really be posting the results of this on tiktok but here's a sneak peek into the amount of clothing that i donated um to a local women's shelter because it was just it was too much. Like the overflow is insane. Things that I forgot I even had. So we are definitely going to be doing more than one purge of this closet. You can see here in this next clip, I literally have like two identical pieces, sometimes more than two identical pieces. So huge purge happening here. This is the other side of, cl of the closet. And again, I need this storage space for Sov and for guests. So this needs to be fixed. But now you can see this is our starting point and we're going to move on to the empty room. So step one of getting this office ready to go is getting a desk in here. So I have a desk in my other office for like when I'm sitting down, but I really wanted a standing desk in here. So when I'm shipping your orders or doing website work, I can use this desk and hopefully a walking pad as well. So here I am building a FlexiSpot desk. So huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. So we have our entire FlexiSpot desk set up. That was literally so easy, actually. I was expecting it to be much harder, so I recruited help from Alex, but it was so easy. Like that took a whopping 10 minutes to put together. I just wanted to show you here, we do have a full desk that is right within here, which is fabulous. I chose the white uh, one with the glass top. They also have options for like wood as well as even a dry erase top if you wanted that. And then here you have all your different features so I can charge things with USB or USB-C, which is fabulous right here. This is just turning the desk on. And then here I can adjust the height of the desk. You can see it's going up there or I can bring it back down if I want to use it while I'm seated. And then you can also preset different heights that work for you. So all I have to do, like if I come in here and I want to stand, I can hit a number that's already preset to my height. Okay, so this is gonna be my final setup here. Just perfectly clean, uncluttered. And I think I'm gonna put maybe like a bulletin board or a calendar something up here. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for sending me this lovely desk. As you can see here in standing position, it's 
beautiful. It's perfect. So if you guys are interested in shopping a FlexiSpot desk of your own, be sure to check out the link down in the description box and just know that there is a 30 day guarantee. So if you want to return the item, if it's not working for you for any reason, you can return it within that 30 day window. So really, really happy with this and excited to finish up this space for all of the new exciting things that are coming. Hello, quick update. Just sitting outside waiting for my stock to arrive. This is, I'm gonna start crying if I think about it too much. Um, yeah, all of these swimsuits are arriving today. I'm tracking where my courier is on the map and they're two stops away. So I've of course been sitting outside for like that an hour cause I can't do anything else other than wait for this. And I'm about to have a disturbing amount of swimsuits arrive in my house but all of which I worked so hard on and these are the first ones that I'm gonna see like fully tagged with my logo printed on the inside like all of the above and then I'll spend the next 72 hours getting them ready in their own little perfect bags for you guys to order and I'm just freaking out I'm freaking out I can't believe they're about to arrive like oh, the time the time that has gone into getting to this moment is literally mind-blowing I I can't believe that we're here and they're all about to get here I'm I'm shook to my literal core so I'm just waiting outside it's a beautiful day I just got home from Pilates just out here with my little water I've got my little soft swim bag and I'm just waiting 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 very impatiently looking for the delivery truck um, I will check in when everything gets here. Hello you guys, checking in. Um, just to finish off this video, I thought I would just do a little chatty, super quick get ready with me to kind of give you an update on all the things because I, there's gonna be a few videos coming in the next like week or two and I thought I would just bring you into like present day and tell you what the heck is actually going on in like this week. Um, so it is June 7th right now and I'm actually getting ready because I need to film a reel for a company that I'm working with this week uh, here in Nashville. So there is this company here called Boot Barn and they are the company that make like all of the cowboy boots that everybody comes to Nashville to buy. Like if you come to Nashville and you buy a pair of cowboy boots on Broadway, you're probably buying them from a Boot Barn store. And last year, um, and last year, my first year in Nashville, I remember I didn't get invited to the boot barn event that they had because I was just like so new. And this year I got invited and I got invited to collaborate with them. So that's really exciting. Like CMA Fest is this weekend and they do like a big event for CMA every year. And I don't know, I feel like a real Nashville person getting invited <laughs> to the event. So I was super excited. So they like have a whole hotel rented out for CMA weekend and CMA weekend in Nashville is freaking insane you guys like it is so busy here like you cannot get anywhere near downtown without like dying from traffic there's tons of events there's like tons of like surprise country music singers that come sing like just at bars that we go to all the time like you'll go to the bar and they'll be like Morgan Wallen will just like sing there it's really cool so love CMA Fest we got to go to the actual show last year too one of the days and I'm hoping we can do that this year um but yeah it's gonna be a very crazy weekend and Boot Barn also does clothing like really really cute clothes so I am filming like an outfit reel of like my outfits for CMA weekend from Boot Barn and all the stuff I got actually fits and it's so cute so I'm very excited and I got a new pair of cowboy boots which honestly if you're like local here you don't like it's not a thing to wear cowboy boots unless you're a tourist but if you have really nice ones then i feel like it is a thing and these ones are really nice they're like the miranda lambert brand if that means anything to anyone um but yeah i'm excited so i'm just putting on a little bit of makeup just to make myself like look alive um because after i film this i am going to pilates so i don't want to be like covered in makeup either and then after that my mom is gonna be in town so for mother's day i got her shania twain tickets <laughs> um i grew up like obsessed 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 with shania twain and of course i had to get my mom and i tickets to her show and it's at like the brand new stadium in nashville too that's for the soccer team 
and it starts at 6 30 so we're going to that and kelsey Ballerini is the opener and i'm also obsessed with her recently so i'm just so freaking pumped so we are going to dinner and then we have that tonight uh yeah so it's gonna be a fabulous fabulous little night she's taking off work just to come to this concert and stay with me so i'm pumped and just like surprising her with the tickets for mother's day was the best so very very excited um but yeah it's gonna be just like a crazy busy weekend on sunday we're also going to this like private event for luke bryan event at a bar um and again it's just like this private event where you go and he's gonna sing and i'm like that's freaking cool like people pay so much money to see these people in concert and the fact that they just come to nashville and like sing for free at bars is so cool to me um and i freaking love country music so i did vlog cma fest last year so i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna vlog this year um I might. It might be just like too crazy and like I have a bunch of content that I have to do that's like required. So I don't know if I want to like kill myself adding a vlog to that, but I might. I might try. Um, side note, this little Dior, what's it called? The Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is the color 001. I love this thing. It has like a bronzer, a blush, and two highlighters. And I just also use this as my eyeshadow palette if I'm in a rush. And it is pricey. Like, I treated myself to this. This was, like, in my cart for, I think, a year. And then I finally was like, okay, I'm going to treat myself to this. And I bought it for myself right before the um, first self-swim photo shoot, actually. And I do love it. It is honestly worth every penny. So, as far as the rest of the videos this week go, obviously this was... Obviously this was part one of my office makeover. And, of course, since then, like, I have received my stock of Sauv. I have launched Sauv. I've been packing orders. Um, it's, like, such a crazy thing. And if you have any questions about Sauv or you want to shop, please let a girl know. I've loved that you guys have just messaged me and been like, Hey, here's a picture of me. Like, what size am I? because I feel like there's so many brands that you just like absolutely could not do that. And I love, I mean, obviously like I'm a teeny, I'm, I'm smaller than a small business. I'm a tiny business. Um, I love that like you guys can message me and I can actually reply to you and be like, get this size. Or like, I think this one would look good on you. Or like if your payment got declined or something weird like that, um, or if your email bounced, whatever, like I can just DM you on Instagram because a lot of you that have ordered, I already know we're like, we've had a DM conversation before. So it's really, really cool that I can do that. Like, I like that I can provide, I don't know, that level of service, I guess. Um, so if you have any questions, then please let me know. I would love to help you pick a suit and I do pack them on myself and I write you guys little notes when I send them and... I just love it like and I hope you receive it and you love it and I hope it becomes your go-to swimsuit you know because when I was like thinking about Sauv and like making this brand so much of it is like I would ask a girl like what's your go-to swimsuit like do you have a favorite swimsuit and like do you not a lot of girls do I feel like the most common response and the response from me is yeah I have one swimsuit that I love when I'm like bloated or I'm on my period or something and it's like this high-waisted one but uh it like kind of looks like a diaper it's not perfect right and then I have another one that's my like skimpy tanning one and I was like why isn't there a suit that you just like feel comfortable in all the time and like I always have suits too where I have so many bathing suits that I'm like, I hate the tan lines that I get from this. So with those two things in mind, that's how I created the first two suits, which is the Mila and the Victoria, because I was like, I'm sick of having crazy tan lines because strings are hanging everywhere. And I want like a strapless bikini that doesn't just look like a boring bandeau. Like I want it to look cute. And I want my bathing suit bottoms to be high-waisted and flattering no matter what day it is. Like there's no reason to not have like good coverage and to feel comfortable in my bathing suit on more than one occasion. So hopefully the bikinis serve you in that way. Like I hope when you get them, you're just like, oh, I have like a go-to staple bikini now, you know, especially like that's why I did neutral colors for this first launch. I was like, you know what? It's just going to be like the essentials. And that way you always have like a good neutral bikini to fall back on no matter what. Um, and if you're somebody that you're like, I'm going to wait till there's like fun colors and patterns or something to come out. Cool. If you love it, then maybe you'll be like, okay, I need a staple bikini and I'm going to go back and grab one of those too. You know? So 
definitely leave comments below about like if there's any suit styles that you really want things in bikinis that you've always wanted that you can't find like I want to hear about it I really want to hear what you guys want and make that it's definitely a crazy process to make it and my god it is time consuming and expensive but we are gonna do it and I think this summer there's gonna be like obviously this launch and I think there'll be one more um in July hopefully and then there won't be another one till there'll be like a little surprise one next year and then next summer so since I'm so small it's definitely gonna take time um but hopefully you guys love them and want to buy them for like vacations and all of the things all right that is my super quick makeup look for filming today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and are enjoying my office makeover. I'm really excited to show you the final product. There's just a couple like finishing touches that I need to add, but for the most part it is done. So more of those videos coming soon. I'm realizing I didn't put a lipstick on. Revlon Slay. Okay, we got a good nude. Okay, but Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Please comment. Let me know if you have any questions about Saab or about anything else in this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one.